What's up everybody? Welcome back to Shield Outdoors. Today is going to be a video, I actually filmed most of it about two months ago. It is about the Zebco Bullet. That's right. This is a push button reel and it costs a hundred dollars. I'm going to tell you why I bought this. I'm going to tell you what I think about it. I'm going to tell you if it's worth the money in my opinion. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons about it. I'm going to tell you what kind of applications we used it for. And of course, I'll show you a couple fish catches with it and we'll try to determine if this is something that you should buy. Let's get into the video. But first, make sure you're subscribed. We're gonna have a huge giveaway on this channel for a subscription box giveaway. I'm gonna mail it straight to the winner, either three months to two people or six months to one person. I don't know yet, but make sure you're subscribed. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We do all kinds of stuff on the water, in the woods, hunting, fishing, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So since my buddy is just trying to get into fishing, I paired this Zebco up with a uh, six foot, he's a short guy, he wanted a shorter rod, a six foot medium rod with a fast taper. Now why did I do that? Probably because it's going to be, that's, that's going to be a pretty solid setup for him as a brand new angler. I think it'll serve him pretty well, but we'll see how it does for us today. Obviously a beginning fisherman probably will do pretty good with moving baits, so hopefully this is enough rod for him. I, I'm guessing it's enough real, but we'll see. I'm not super confident where I'm at right now. I don't catch a lot of fish right here on this part of the shoreline, but the sun is still up. It's really high and it's really bright, so at least this is in the shade. There's one. Oh. Boom. First fish. I already dunked the rod into the water. First fish, and he's got a sweet little marking right here on his tail. Away you go, little buddy. Boom. So like I said, of course, this is the Zebco Bullet. It is a $100 reel. The reason we bought this, let's talk about why we bought this. So my buddy just got back from Kuwait on his second deployment, and he goes, hey man, I wanna learn how to fish. I wanna learn how to fish, I wanna go out with you guys, I wanna hit the water, I wanna catch some biggins. Well, here's the thing. The dude didn't know how to throw a bait caster. He doesn't know how to throw an open face. He didn't really know how to operate most reels. We needed to get him out on the water and at least see, does he like fishing? Is this gonna be something he wants to do for a while? So, we went to Cabela's. I knew we'd end up getting him a push button reel just to get him started, but I didn't realize that there was $100 push button reels. So we get this, the Zebco Bullet. It actually came with two um, spools and one of them is already spooled up with red string. It's probably about 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon is what I'm guessing. Maybe it's mono, I don't really know. Like, I guess I should have read the package, but of course I'm a man, so I didn't read no instructions. I stuck this bad boy straight on a rod. We actually had it on a Bass Pro rod. We had it on a six foot rod and it wasn't uh, getting good hook sets. So it just wasn't enough backbone. So he went out and got a six and a half foot Daiwa rod and it definitely gives you a lot more control. It is a medium with a fast taper tip. But besides that, besides the rod, the reel is pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. So I took it out one day, right here on this lake. This is a 10 acre lake. We got all kinds of fish in here, a lot of largies. So I took it out on my kayak and I put it to the test with like a three quarter ounce chatterbait, a big one, like a Z-Man, uh, I think it was a jackhammer. And I put a huge sixth sense uh, swim bait on the back, like a four incher. And I caught about a dozen fish that night, the biggest one only being about two pounds. I mean, the reel performed really, really well. The first thing that I found, and obviously this is a huge pro for a brand new fisherman, this thing is so easy to operate. I mean, literally, you just cast it. And this thing casts far. When I had that giant chatterbait on here, I was casting this like 60, 70 yards. The next pro, there's nothing to it. Make sure you set your drag. You could set the drag for a brand new fisherman, hand him this reel, and he'd, he'd be able to go to work. Especially with a moving bait, like a crankbait, something that you don't have to like sit there and finesse. But you know what? Another pro to this reel, you could do a super lightweight lure on this. You could probably put a drop shot on this. You could definitely put a small worm. I don't know about a Ned rig per se, but you can get some really lightweight bait on here because this thing will just fling it. The string comes out super easy and the pickup is actually pretty quick too. Now that was definitely one of the cons to this reel is I did have trouble catching up to fish. If they were turning, coming towards me, especially when I was in my kayak, it's already kind of hard to set the hook in a kayak, right? Well, 
I did have trouble catching up to some of the fish and I had trouble getting hook sets. In these videos I'm showing you, I was also using that six foot rod, so that also could have been part of the problem. But I mean, you can literally, you can like pitch this. I just pitched like 30 feet. This thing is easy to operate. If you have a brand new fisherman, you could hook them up with this and get them on the water. Now, obviously it's, it may not be the fastest reel. It may not be the most hardy reel. It may not be the best application for whatever you choose to do that day or whatever lure you cho choose to throw, but this is gonna work for a lot of people. So now we've been using this for about, I don't know, two months now. He's caught a couple of fish. One of the things he's been using is like pre-rigged worms, something he can cast out and just reel them straight in. They kind of corkscrew in the water and he was doing pretty good. We went out on a local lake the other day. We also went out on some reservoirs and the kid was catching two pound fish, no problem getting them in the boat. And he was having no trouble keeping up with it. He was having no trouble getting them in. I haven't had any issues with the line kinking up in here. I mean, look, there's, there's no weight on here and the line is not all kinked up. It's nice and straight. So I guess the big question is what I recommend to somebody. And the answer is absolutely. Do I use any push button reels? No, I don't. But I would definitely recommend this to anybody. In fact, especially if you're a kayak fisherman or if you need something that's a little bit hardier or if you don't wanna spend the money on like a two, $300 bait caster, I'll be honest, I don't see anything wrong with this. I really don't. Now, the more you learn about fishing, you might be able to advance up to a high speed reel. You might advance to a higher end crankbait reel, whatever it is your application is for. Or you might go to an open face. You might go to a super finesse setup. But if you're just beginning, or if you don't wanna have uh, a super intricate design to your reel, this thing is about as simple as it comes, but it's hardy. Now here's the big thing. Is this worth $100 compared to like a $30 reel? I would say yes. When I was younger, we used Rhino reels. And those things were pretty nice, anywhere from $30 to $50. But even if you took them apart, cleaned them and oiled them, they were shot in about a year. This thing is, obviously we've only had this two months, but this thing seems really strong. Also, when you take it apart, it just looks like the internal components are just beefier. They look beefier, they look stronger. And you know what? I know I'm making a review video, but other review videos all give this a really good review. Uh-oh, I definitely just hooked this stick. Uh-oh. All right, well, I just got hung and lost your lure, buddy. Sorry. Final thoughts on the Zebco Bullet. Yes, it's worth the money. Yes, if you have a new fisherman, this is gonna be a tool for them to help get them into the sport, help get them going, and at least get them hooked on fishing. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Drop a comment below if this is something you would ever use. Drop a comment below if you have a different push button reel that you like to use or that you've hooked a new fisherman up with. And drop a comment below if you use a Zebco Bullet. Let me know how long you've used it and how much you like it because you know what? This might be the answer to a lot of people's problems. A lot of people who are new to fishing and get frustrated or can't figure out how to work a bait caster, this might be the solution to a lot of people's problems. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And stick around, check out some of the other stuff. Peace.